Hey everyone, I'm Nick Sonnenberg, and today we're gonna to be talking about one of the most powerful tools that we use at my company, Leverage, and that tool is Asana. And if you've listened to other videos or read my book, Come Up For Air, you're familiar at this point with my operational efficiency framework called CPR. It stands for Communicate, Plan, and Resource. We're not gonna get into the specifics of that today. If you haven't read the book or watched the videos, I would encourage you to go and click below and find those. But today, Asana solves that P part of CPR, which is all about planning. And if you think about it, most of what we do day to day is related to some type of planning, right? Anything that's actionable that you wanna hold someone accountable to is part of planning, right? If I were to ask Tanya on my team to write a video script by Friday, that is an actionable thing that we wanna hold her accountable to. She needs to be able to click a button and see a list of priorities on her side. That would, should be captured in a tool like Asana, which is a work management tool. So the first step in this is even understanding the purpose of the tool. What I lay out in the book, an example I give in the book is, imagine you were gonna go camping in the forest with your team. You would need walkie talkies to communicate with each other, but you would also need a map to navigate out of the forest. Asana is your map. It's gonna guide you to that thing that you need to do. It's gonna help you complete all the tasks and milestones to achieve that project that you're looking to achieve. So step one is understanding the purpose of any tool, and in this case, Asana. Um, Cause look, there's other, there's other project management and work management tools out there on the market. The most important thing is that you have one that's you know a best in class one, and we feel Asana is the best which is why we have decided to partner with them. But look, there's other good ones on the market too. The most important thing is that you align your team on the use case of this tool and what's the purpose, right? So again, the purpose is anything that's actionable that you want to hold someone accountable to, you put in Asana. So for example, get the video scripts done by Friday, that's Asana. Edit this podcast by next Thursday, that's a task, you wanna give ownership to someone, there's a due date on it, that should be Asana. You know, as opposed to communication tools like, hey everyone, welcome Jeremy to the team. You know, you don't need to hold anyone accountable for that, that's just information blasting to the team. So that would be another tool, most likely Slack, and we'll have videos for that later. So step one, what's the purpose of the tool? What's the mental trigger of when you should even open Asana? Step two, well, now once you understand when to use Asana, then you have to use it properly and know how to use Asana, right? Now Asana has some very specific functionality, which is what makes us decide to recommend this tool and partner with them. The first is the, the single user experience of Asana is fantastic. They have a My Tasks button. It's like this magic button, you click it, and you could be in a thousand projects. You could have thousands of tasks and it doesn't matter. It all rolls up into this one click, one area, and you can see a prioritized list of everything you wanna do. That is so helpful. And if you just did nothing but utilize the My Tasks feature properly, and to use it properly, you have to use rules and uh, t really take advantage of the automated cascading so that when things become more relevant, they automatically surface to the top of my tasks. We've got other content and resources to show you how to do that. But once you start doing all this, it basically puts your to-do list on autopilot. You just become this powerhouse of being able to manage so much without having to waste all this time looking, you know, was that in a text message or in a group text message? Or I think I've got some stuff on a sticky note somewhere or in an email or someone wrote a Slack message somewhere. No, no, no. Anything that you need to do and get done goes into Asana. It goes in in a certain way. You put a due date on it. You set up this automation. You put this sucker on, auto, on autopilot and then you click the magic button and you know everything that you need to do. And then on these tasks, if you have questions and you need to collaborate, all that communication's all in one place. So again, you don't have to go on a scavenger hunt and start stitching together conversations across 27 different platforms. Everything's in this nice little container to make it easier to get that task done. So not to get too technical, but 
The underlying data model inside of Asana is what they call a work graph data model. And not to get too fancy and technical, but what that means is you can have these many to many relationships. So a task can belong in zero projects. I could just on the fly say, hey, can you order a pizza by Friday? That's not gonna belong to some project, that's just a task. But there can be other tasks like, can you write this article for Fortune Magazine? That task might live in a book launch project, but it also might live in a copywriting project. So that one task can live in multiple projects. And so when you update that task, you write a comment, you attach a file, you reassign it, you change the due date. All of these changes are reflected instantly and simultaneously across everywhere that that task lives. And Asana is the only one as of now that can do stuff like this. Additionally, you have really powerful reporting so that you can see, you know, number of past due tasks, who's working on what. At Leverage, one of the really cool reports that I like to look at is show me every day how many tasks are due. You'll find if you do that on your, on your company and your team, you're gonna see a spike on Mondays. And that's just because people do not properly plan and allocate time to, to how much bandwidth they have every day. So a lot of the times, Monday is like the most popular day to assign a task. And then what you're gonna see is you got all these tasks on a Monday and it's very light the rest of the week. And then what that does is it causes you to waste time and have to click on due date again. And then from that date, put an, a new due date that's more reasonable. So upfront, people should be thinking about realistically, when can this get done and try to load balance their work so you don't get too, too big of spikes. Another little trick that I do is I try to keep my Fridays open from team meetings or client meetings. And then what I'll do is a lot of the lower priority kind of like admin stuff that does need to get done, but it isn't critical. I'll usually put those on a Friday because I know I'm gonna have a little bit more space. Lastly, it has this concept of portfolios, and this is only on the higher tier versions of Asana, but portfolios aggregate projects. So you could have a portfolio called, for us at Leverage, we have a, a big part of our work is giving people access to our academy of videos. So we have a portfolio called the Leverage Academy Portfolio. And then for every video module that we're working on, that's a project. So we have built trainings on Slack. We've built trainings on Asana, on Microsoft Teams, on Outlook, on Gmail. Each of these are projects. Each of these projects have tons of tasks and milestones in order to get that video module done. But then each of these projects are all contained in one portfolio. So I can click one button and I can see the status of all the projects right there. So again, if I have to summarize in a sentence, what does Asana do for you as an individual? as a team lead, as a manager. It keeps things organized and it allows you to know who's working on what, what the status of something is, what do I need to do today? What have I asked someone else to do that's done or past due? And ultimately it gives me the ability to answer so many questions that are critical to my team in as few clicks as possible.